guys, Joseph here with Engadget. Um, this time we're going to look at the HTC One software a little bit more in depth than that hardware hands-on we saw before. So again, just to recap, this is Android Jelly Bean 4.1.2 with the Sense 5 overlay, uh, and that incorporates the Roboto font at a different weight. Um, but here again is the uh, default home screen. So if you want to see the more traditional layout, you simply swipe to the left, and you'll get that with the Google search bar and the customizable home screen with the apps. But let's go back to Blink Feed for now. Um, so this, you know, you, you fill out with uh, your choice of uh, different content providers that are keyed into the Mobile Republic service, um, but it also integrates into um, the TV feed. Uh, and the TV button down is here, and uh, the uh, IR button on the top is underneath uh, the power button. So again, we'll just show you that, you know, if we wanted to see, say, um, an article here, you just tap on it, it takes you directly into it, you scroll up to read and to the side to continue and there's HTC, we're at the launch event, to go through um, the rest of your feed. Well, let's go back for a second to the home screen. And from here, once you've plugged in uh, your favorite television shows, you can actually go directly into the TV app and start to manage uh, your content. But for now, we're going to go ahead and press on the dedicated button and show you the interface. So here you can see uh, we're looking at what's live on TV now, and this is connected to this television set in front of us. So for, exam uh, for example, if we want to see SpongeBob SquarePants, we just tap on that, and it sends a message to the television to change the channel. Pretty simple. Um, you can also go ahead over here and see what, what will be on later in the day or what will be on demand. Now the other thing, obviously this being HTC, uh, there's an imaging uh, story here. We're going to go ahead into the camera app. You can see it's been redesigned. Um, one of the most important things though is that Zoe share. So if we go ahead here and tap on this icon, we'll be able to capture a pretty quick video that will then be shareable. And you can see the icon will fill up red until it's finished. So it's doing it again. So now we'll go up here and just tap on it and here is your Zoe. They're basically a new speed of so if we wanted, we could go ahead now, press the share button, and share that out um, to any of these social networking sites, and that'll uh, link uh, users that click on it back to HTC's dedicated website with a specific landing page. So that's pretty much it as far as uh, the new software features included in the uh, HTC One goes. So this is Joseph with Engadget. Once again, thanks for watching.